Hi everyone, it's Naomi Neagle here and I'm the founder and creator of Fab Freedom and the Freedom Steps. And I help women who are struggling with food, compulsive cycles, any kind of addictive dependency on something outside ourselves basically to make us feel okay, to make us feel settled. And this is a really interesting time of year for me, both as someone that has the tendency to get really kind of into busyness and perfectionism and pushing myself and wanting to get perfect, wanting to get everything right before Christmas, wanting to say yes to everybody that, that needs time, wanting to be right on my game, wanting to get all the presents ready and just sort of cross all the T's and dot all the I's before Christmas. And what I notice for myself year after year at this time of the year is that actually I can tend to go into a place of like overwhelm and even burnout. But I remember Christmases where I just felt kind of exhausted and miserable and they didn't even really feel that fun because I had literally been pushing myself. And you know what, I, I don't think I'm alone in this. I've had quite a lot of people reaching out to me over the last few days and weeks saying, wow, things just feel really tough. I feel like I'm kind of um, right up in my head. There's a lot of voices and, and pushing and criticism and life feels demanding and feeling scattered. So I'm creating this video to create a bit of time to just oh, let all that go and share with you my thoughts that actually this is not an individual phenomena. We are living in a society, in a culture that absolutely gets into this frenetic, manic, pushing place before Christmas. All the images that we're bombarded with, um, all the, the buying that we're demanded to do, all the ways in which those addictive processes start to kind of prepare themselves, like, oh, you know, this is the parts of us that think this is going to be a time when we're going to mm, just blow out. You know, all the stress and the pressure that gets wound up in us is going to have a chance to just oh, get numbed out. We're going to be able to escape from it into overeating, over drinking, um, watching loads and loads of TV and being around family members that might be actually quite challenging for us and they might be doing their addictive things as well. So it's such a funny time that we kind of get all this pressure and then we go into this kind of numbed out void for a couple of weeks or some of us do a couple of weeks towards the end of the month. So I really invite you to look to nature for how to behave in a different way, in a way that's actually going to be much more caring for your bodies, for your minds, much more balanced, um, much more connected to something that's more nourishing, more real and deeper. Because nature is a wise one. Look at her right now. I mean, here in the UK anyway, the leaves are shedding. She's like, forget it. This is just me chilling out. I'm not going to even bother creating leaves. Um, I'm not even going to bother having the sun come out. I'm just going to do what I do. And um, that's not much. And I'm not saying that we don't have things to do. I'm not saying that we just collapse at this stage. But maybe we can lower that bar of perfectionism. Maybe we don't have to send a Christmas card to everyone. Maybe we don't have to do the whole Christmas dinner. Maybe we can order something, you know. Maybe we can be okay with not being perfect. Maybe we don't have to push ourselves. Um, just maybe, just maybe. Um, so somewhere between collapsing and giving up and winding ourselves up into a real spin, there's this beautiful middle path where we can just take the time that we need to be quiet with ourselves. Um, this can actually be quite a spiritual time of the year, you know, if we give ourselves permission. And I don't mean at Christmas, I mean from now with the days are darkening, there's less light, there's more opportunity for us to take a load off, do some meditation. Um, so I'm partly saying all this because I need to know this too. I need to hear my own words. But I hope that this has helped you. I would love to hear your own experiences as well. But not if that's adding to your to-do list. If I don't hear from anyone, it's totally fine. I'll just assume that you're meditating there and that you're allowing yourself to be less than perfect this Christmas. Thanks for listening. I'm Naomi Neagle. I'm the founder of Food and Body Freedom and the Freedom Steps, helping women um, and men recover from addictive compulsive cycles so that we can all live a life of clarity, 
connection and truth. Checking out.